So today we're going to be looking at graphing ratio tables. We have this question here. It says a recipe calls for three bananas for every loaf of banana bread. Create a ratio table that shows how many loaves of banana bread that, would, that you would bake if you use six bananas and 12 bananas. Graph the solution. So I need to break this part, this question apart a little bit first. Um, we're going to start off with a recipe calls for three bananas for every loaf. I'm going to highlight that. Uh, that's a little important uh, because one of the things I need to figure out first is what are the two things I'm comparing? I'm comparing bananas and loaves of bread. So up here I have two blank areas. That's where I'm going to put one of them as bananas, one of them as loaves of bread. So we're going to put uh, bananas there and loaves of bread loaves of bread there. So that way I'll be able to compare, okay, I have this many bananas, how many loaves of bread will I be able to make? This third one here, um, this is for my going to be for my graph later on. These are ordered pairs, and we know that an ordered pair is going to be a parenthesis, your x, comma, y. And what's nice is the way I wrote this, the first one is going to be your x, the second one here will be your y. So, a recipe calls for three bananas for every loaf. That is our starting ratio. That's what we will start with. Three bananas every loaf. Loaf is a singular word. I, I like to use a little bit of language arts terms um, with my students also. Loaf, we are talking about one thing versus loaves, where we're talking about multiple. So since it's the word loaf, that is a one, and we use three bananas. Okay, so then it says uh, create a ratio table that shows how many loaves of bread, a uh, banana bread. Uh, if you have six bananas and twelve bananas. Okay, um, so <clears throat> I'm just going to fill that out on my table. Six bananas, bananas six. Twelve bananas, bananas twelve. I have an extra space down there. Um, so I'm just going to fill it in one more time. And I look at my numbers that are bananas. I have 3, 6, um, 12. Well, why not put a 9 there? It's OK that it's out of order. Um, it it do, really does not matter at all. So if it's 3 bananas for one loaf, I double the amount of bananas. I double the amount of loaves. So I get 2. In a way that um, helps to explain it with the kids, how do I get from 3 to 6? I multiply by 2. So I multiply by 2. All right. Um, 3 to 12 now. We multiply by 4. 1 times 4 is 4. And then we have 3 to 9. Um, that was just the extra one. So I'm going to multiply by 3, and I get 3. So for my ordered pairs here, not too bad. I'm just going to pre-write all of these right now. Um, it's 3, comma, 1, 6, comma, 2, 12, comma, 4, and 9, comma, 3. All right. My table is all filled out now, and we see how I got all of my numbers. I just used the starting ratio and did some multiplication skills. What I did to one side, I had to do to the other there. Now comes the graphing portion. I need to graph these ordered pairs onto my graph here. But before I can do that, I need a few things. First things first, I need to have a title. What were we talking about? We're talking about banana bread. Banana bread. Okay. Um, well, what were my X's down here? My X's were bananas. Bananas. What were my Y's? Loaves of bread. So loaves of bread. Put an E in there. Okay, so I now have my title. I have what my Y's are, what my X's are. Um, one of the last things I need, numbers. Okay, now I could, you know, count by um, the same amount on both the side and the this side, but it's going to be kind of a harder graph to do. So something that is acceptable to do is 
for my x-axis, we can look 3, 6, 12, 9. Um, and if I flip-flop these two down here, it would go 3, 6, 9, 12. So I can add 3 each time. And we'll put a 15 there just to round it out. Over here, 1, 2, 4, 3. Or if I flip-flop those, 1, 2, 3, 4. So I'm going to count by 1s here. 4 and a 5. And now it's as easy as 3, comma 1, go to 3, up 1. Go to 6, up 2, go to 9, up 3, go to 12, up 4, and connect the dots. Um, I could say if I have 0 bananas, I will have 0 loaves of bread as well.